Capricorn, hello. Welcome to your mid-February Oracle and Tarot reading. My name is Tessa and you're watching my channel. Um, before I get into your guys' reading, just a couple of quick notes. Nothing crazy, no long introduction. Um, I did finish my website, tessataboo.com. There's different stuff on there you can read, can see what I'm up to. Um, I have my first blog post up. Um, hopefully I'll get my next blog post up soon. I'm kind of just taking my time developing um, <laughs> all my projects and everything that I'm working on. I'm not rushing into anything, but if you want to go check it out, um, I have the link in the description box below. Um, what else? Uh, this is going to be a nice short and sweet little video for you. I'm not going to do a crazy big tarot spread. And I actually found that um, these decks that I'm, I chose for this particular series, for the mid-February series, um, I'm using two decks I haven't used yet. And um, I'm pulling three cards from each deck. So I'm using Astro Soul Oracle. I'm going to pull three cards from there, and then I'm using Murder of Crows Tarot, and I'm going to pull three from there. And I'm finding that this Astro Soul Oracle deck, oh my god, it's like filled with information that I can give you guys. Tarot deck as well, um, but because this is like my newest deck, kind of like my baby, it's just like, it's it's like the information that's coming that has been coming so far has been really, really good and really nice. Basically, it's an oracle deck that has to do with everything astrology. So the zodiac signs are in here, all the houses are in here, all the planets, asteroids, moon phases, uh, aspects as well. So it's really, really cool. It just kind of adds this extra element of like connection. Um, and um, what's that word I'm looking for? Um, it just like it it blends things really nicely. I don't really know how to explain it. And then this Murder of Crows tarot deck, I know it sounds totally like evil, but I love it. It's all in black and white. Uh, I love horror and science fiction. I have yet to find a science fiction deck that I'm like obsessed with. But yeah, it's a really, really beautiful deck. So we're just gonna see what information comes up for you guys, okay? Um, yeah. So it's kind of nice being on camera again and just like talking to you guys because I don't have a job. I don't really leave my house much unless I'm going grocery shopping. So I literally just like watch the, the, watch, um, the news or um, TV, like comedy shows. I go grocery shopping. Um, I post every day on Instagram. I write every day. And of course, uh, I'm involved in my tarot, astrology. I'm working on some birth charts right now. Um, yeah, so I'm really hoping in the summertime, you know, I'll like, be, I'll get out of my house more and just kind of like get a little bit more involved um, with, you know, the outside world. Okay, Capricorn. See what we have going on. So let's start pulling the astro soul. Okay. So for your first card, you have the new moon, and we just had a new moon in Aquarius on February 11th. There were six different astrological planets in the sign of Aquarius. So the energy this month, just generally speaking, the energy this month for February has been super, super intense, very mentally stimulating, especially for me. Um, probably more so for the air signs and the fire signs. Um, for earth and water, you're probably feeling it, but it's a little bit more introspective maybe um, for you. But for this new moon, it says new beginnings, planting seeds, setting intentions, blank page, okay? So you might be really feeling um, like wanting to start something new, um, a new project, or you have some more clarifications you feel a little bit more clear in terms of like what's going on around you okay like you are I think you're kind of like feeling that Aquarius energy going on around you and you're being pushed to um, capitalize on it 
you know, you're kind of being pushed to uh, use it to your advantage and to um, uh, setting intentions blank page just to, you know, like how, how are you going to use it? How are you going to use this Aquarius energy to your advantage? Okay. And then we have the fourth house. I belong. This house is naturally ruled by cancer um, and the moon. It says, this is the house of origins. Here is where we see our home, bloodline, feelings of safety, comfort, mother figure, tradition, and lifestyle. It also shows where we come from. So yeah, like how I was saying, like you could be experiencing this Aquarius energy more internally. So you could be doing a lot of reflecting. You could be thinking a lot about your roots, where you come from, how you grew up, um, and maybe setting some new intentions in regards to like just how you approach your home life like your work life has always been really important but like just feeling comfortable at home uh, feeling more rooted in your in tradition feeling more rooted in your own sense of self and who you are um, especially in regards to like history and your roots your family um, setting those intentions, uh, rooting yourself a little bit more in that. And then we also have the Aries card that came out. Okay. And Aries represents Aries is a fire sign ruled by Mars. Very, very, very passionate energy, all about new beginnings, all about paving a new path forward for the future starting a new project, starting something new, okay? So you could very much be like inspired. If you um, if you are involved in some kind of work project or creative project, allow yourself to be inspired by your traditions. Allow yourself to be inspired by your history and where you come from, okay? Your roots. And that is going to be a really great way to initiate a new path forward in your projects, in your endeavors, in your work. Um, and just kind of like planting that seed of inspiration for like culture to met for you for your own personal sense of culture to like manifest and kind of like become part of reality to become a thing you know uh, we have the two of cups for tarot this is venus and cancer another cancer card so you could definitely uh, be connecting with somebody right now so this can and this is falling under the new moon so it could also be a new um a new beginning in matters of love um it looks like you have a kindred spirit going on here it could be like a relationship that you're already in or it could just be like somebody that you have a very special kindred spirit kind of relationship with, okay? And you guys are just kind of like enjoying each other's company. You're enjoying the love that you bring to the table for both of you. You're feeling like a soulmate kind of connection here. Maybe you guys are kind of like thinking you want to, you know, you want to move forward with this connection. Maybe you're not really talking about it at the moment, but you're both kind of feeling it. It's kind of like this underlying energy. We have the Page of Swords, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. All pages are students, okay? They're students of life. They're here to learn, to, to learn what they need to learn to better themselves. So with a Page of Swords, this is about intellectual, uh, me this is all mental, intellectual when it comes to ideas when it comes to the mind okay so it's kind of like you're learning you're learning how to think in new ways you're learning how to think in new ways in regards to your traditions in regards to your roots um you want to kind of like re it's like um It's like a curiosity, okay, about maybe diving deeper. There's some kind of curiosity here, um, but it looks like you're you you want to learn. You want to absorb information, especially like the things that other people are saying, the information that's going on around you. You know, kind of taking it all in. All right, and then we have the Nine of Swords. And this is um, Mars in Gemini falling under Aries. Okay, so this this talks about some anxiety. This talks about like perhaps some fear, um, some 
some worry, some anxiety, and some fear in regards to the future, in regards to uh, um, being courageous enough and bold enough to kind of like begin this new journey to pave this new path, to be like a pioneer for the future, okay? Aries is a cardinal fire. You guys are cardinal earth, okay? So there is a little bit of anxiety in regards to like paving a new way forward in regards to your own like soul, in regards to like who you see yourself as as an individual. Maybe you're not sure if it's going to be accepted, if people are going to be like... Oh, okay, that's cool, you know. Um, yeah. There could also be some anxiety in regards to this connection that you're dealing with as well, but it does look like you are open to taking in new information. You're open to like learning. You're open to ex you're you are open in reference to expanding your mind. And thinking about things from different perspectives. Okay. But yeah, whatever this new beginning is, whatever this like, like really, really big beginning, very, a very ground, very groundbreaking start to something new, there is some anxiety attached to it. There is some anxiety attached to it, but it doesn't. It does. It looks like it's gonna be fine. It it doesn't look like anything dramatic. It doesn't look like it's gonna be anything like that. You need to like worry about too much. I mean, we all deal with anxiety, but there could be some anxiety attached to it. And as long as you keep your heart open, as long as you have like these kind of kindred um, spiritual relationships that you have, and you're able to like reflect more on your roots and maybe just kind of like learn a little bit more from history. Um, everything should be fine. This anxiety is not anything to be too troubled. It's nothing to be troubled by. Okay. It's like normal. So Capricorn, this is my reading for you for mid-February. I told you it was going to be short and sweet. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.